and welcome to How to Gastro. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a very interesting disease, and that is giardiasis. So let's get started. So what is giardiasis? Giardiasis is an infection of the small intestine, which is caused by a parasite called Giardia lamblia, also commonly known as Giardia intestinalis. It is the most common cause of parasitic gastrointestinal disease around the world and exists in two main forms, an active form which is called a trophozoid and an inactive form which is called a cyst. So from this definition of giardiasis, we get that it's actually a very common parasitic disease and is actually the most common cause of parasitic GI diseases around the world, especially in developing countries. So it's caused by this parasite, which is called Giardia lamblia or Giardia intestinalis. And this parasite actually takes on two main forms. The one form is called the trophozoid form. And this is actually the active state of this parasite in which it goes on to cause disease and symptoms for the patient. And an inactive form, which is called a cyst. So now that we know the basis of what Giardiasis is, let's take a closer look at where this parasite comes from. So where does the Giardiasis parasite thrive? So the G. lamblia parasites can be found in both animals, such as livestock, dogs, and cat species, as well as in human feces. These parasites also thrive in contaminated food, water, and soil, and can survive outside a host for long periods of time. Accidentally consuming these parasites can lead to an infection. So this parasite actually thrives in contaminated food, water, soil, and waste sources, and in this way is able to transmit itself either to an animal host or a human host. So the most affected animals are actually livestock such as cattle, cows, sheep, etc. But we can also have domesticated animals such as dogs and cats which can be infected with the G. lamblia parasite. So as point number one says, the dog or other animal or even human comes into contact with the Giardia cyst, ingests it, and the body becomes infected with giardiasis. So from this, giardia is now in the trophozoite form within the small intestine and multiplies while feeding off the host and absorbing its nutrients. So although it's ingested from these different sources in the cyst form or its inactive state, once it reaches the host's intestine, which is the animal intestine or the human intestine, it's able to change its form into the trophozoite form and begin to multiply quite rapidly. So once it multiplies and begins fully infecting the intestinal system of either the animal or the human, it begins to cause some devastating symptoms for the patient. So the patient starts to experience nausea, extreme tummy pain, vomiting, fever, weight loss, etc. And once this process begins to unfold, we move on to point number three, which says the giardia cyst now exits the body through excretion and survives in different environments for months with the potential to infect others. So the cysts actually leave the human or animal host via the feces and then can go on to contaminate different food sources, soils, vegetables, etc. And this is how the cycle continues. And in this way, more and more individuals and animals become infected. So how does one contract giardiasis? So as we mentioned in the previous slide, the majority of patients and animals become infected from contaminated soil and water sources. So one may contract the disease through drinking water that has been contaminated with giardiasis, usually because the water has come into contact with sewage, eating uncooked fruits or vegetables that have been washed in contaminated water, eating uncooked fruits or vegetables from a garden where contaminated fertilizer has been used, touching feces, diapers, or objects which have been soiled with feces, then failing to adequately wash your hands, and having direct contact with an infected person or animal, then failing to adequately wash your hands. So in this way, the parasites can actually be spread through ingesting them, or even from touching any contaminated surface. So now let's talk about the signs and symptoms of giardiasis. So many patients infected with this parasite develop no signs and symptoms at all, but in those who do go on to develop signs and symptoms, they usually manifest one to three weeks after the initial exposure and include watery diarrhea, abdominal cramping, bloating, nausea with or without vomiting, 
gas, floating or unusually smelly stools, weight loss, new tolerance to milk or dairy foods in your diet, a low-grade fever, and a loss of appetite. So how can one go about diagnosing AGRDASIS? So the diagnostic method of choice for this disease is done by the collection of stool samples from the patient. Because testing for GRDASIS can be difficult, the patient is usually required to submit several stool specimens, which is collected over several days. So the more samples we have, the better our chances are of finding this specific parasite. So once collected, the samples are then examined in a laboratory for the presence of the parasites. So as we can see in this image below, we actually test the patient's stool sample and we actually look microscopically for the presence of these trophozoids or even cysts that may be present in the patient's stool samples. And finally, let's talk about the treatment of GRDASIS. So the majority of patients will get better without any treatment, but in patients who developed full-blown symptoms, which go on to last more than several weeks, medical treatment must be administered to prevent any further spread of the disease. These patients are treated with metronidazole, nitazoxanade, and tinadazole. And that brings us to the end of this video on GRDASIS. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And please make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you'd like to download a copy of this presentation, you may do so by clicking the link in the description. Take care and bye for now.